is up. It is Friday, it's the end of the week, and I wasn't really gonna bring you a vlog, but it's about that time of year that this happens. It's the Santa Parade. And uh, it's extensive, to say the least. This is, I don't know, 500 people or something? There are some dancing, I don't know, what are they like? Hip hop slutty dancing astronauts? Because uh, that's, that's what I think about when I think about Christmas. It's actually really late. I'm just waiting for the last doctor to finish doing whatever he's doing. Everything else is done. And uh, then I can get out of here. Now my big problem is that with all that going on outside, they block off the Queen Street Mall uh, and part of Albert Street. Now, I am diagonally opposite that cross street. Um, wait, hold on, this doesn't make any sense. I'm diagonally opposite my bus stop. Like, that cross, like, there's an X, and then I'm at the, like, hold on. I'm sorry, but this has to happen because I can't I can't explain things well without drawing them. So there's a cross street. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is bad. There's a cross street. Oh, I need something better. Hold on. Let's let's use this for a better thing. Can you see this? Yeah. So there's a cross street like that. Okay. Let's just say, for argument's sake, that. Um, this one is Queen Street and this one is Albert Street. Um, so if you know it well, you know that uh, Hungry Jack's is right there. Now we are right down here. And my bus stop is right about somewhere over here, right? So now my problem is that this is all blocked off and... Whew, this is all blocked off. Um, so, how do I get from here to here without using the street or this street? Well, it pretty much means I walk around like three blocks, four blocks, whatever, to go right around. It's either that or I make a mad dash um, through the parade. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure wouldn't be uh, really well received by police or parade goers. That's my predicament at the moment. But uh, I guess I'll go outside and because I have to deal with it for a little bit, I might as well give you a street side view of what's going on there. There might even be camels. There's been camels previous years, so there might even be camels. But I, I'm just saying camels makes me hungry. Yeah. Well, I was going to come down and show you a bit of the sand parade, but then I came to my senses and uh, stayed upstairs and made a picture on GIF um, of my employer that will probably get me fired if he ever sees it. <laughs> it was pretty good though. Um, yeah. So I'm pretty much just going to try and get a couple of things before I go home and then get on the bus and get out of here. Like as you can see, there's just like so many people still here. It's probably only gone down to about 300, but like a lot, a lot of people. Alright, it is the, I don't know, it's like the 22nd. I wasn't really planning on vlogging today, but I started work at 7 o'clock this morning and then got to about 11 o'clock and I really couldn't be bothered working anymore. So I dipped out and now I'm going to go and grab some stuff for Christmas with the Howlett's, Kim's and Stewart's. Um, yeah, so I'm on cheese duty because uh, apparently I couldn't be trusted to cook anything without killing myself or other people. So I'm going to buy some cheese. I actually went and bought about like $50 worth of cheese yesterday, which sounds, it's just a stupid sentence. $50 worth of cheese. 
so now I'm gonna try and have a look around the city and see if we can procure some more cheese. Alright, so we have pastes, uh, quince paste, spiced pear paste, and a cabernet paste. And now I'm just trying to find crackers. Oh, and I also got the cheese. It was actually the only one I needed, to be honest. Ah, oh, crackers. Um, because I got the only King Island that they had at, uh, I don't know, at the last place that I went to was like a smoked cheese, which I like, but not everybody likes. Um, so now I'm in Cracker Isle, and because I can't buy things for other people without buying stuff for myself, I'm going to go from here to uh, JB Hi-Fi and see if I can get a mini tripod. Not really for putting down, but more for carrying. Just to be hands-off camera and that kind of thing. So, yeah. This cracker shopping is obviously going very well. Mm. Big W, which is just upstairs from uh, things. So I went to JB Hi-Fi and they had, um, they had, uh, what do you call, a really good Manfrotto one, but, Eighty dollars. Not into it. So, get this one for like seventeen dollars, and it'll either be a really good solution, or I will kill my camera. So I just <laughs> recorded the whole thing, and then realised that I didn't actually press the record button, so I was too busy. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Anyway, got all the rest of the cheese stuff. All my Christmas shopping is done bought myself something so hopefully that works out um, I'm gonna get on a bus and go home before I spend any more money seems like a plan do you know what's really funny is when you're in a crowded place and you're walking past somebody and they make eye contact with you but then because they feel awkward uh, having looked at you that they like turn and face a wall or look at a car or something going past or something I know it's stupid like I do it too but I think it's funny that we're just so, I don't know, scared of a possible interaction that you just like avert your gaze. So, I don't know, maybe that's something that we should be more aware of and if you catch somebody's eye, say hello to them. I mean like we used to do that when, when I lived in New Zealand, obviously it was like smaller communities and that stuff, if you're walking along and you catch somebody's eye, you say hello. because. That's what you do, I almost got run over by that thing. Sorry. <laughs> You're all good. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, you can see that. I'm always murdering people out here. I just saw like a sign, an uh, ad or whatever. Actually, I don't know why I didn't just stop and show you that, but an ad for Coca Cola Ginger. Hey. Why is that a thing? I don't get it. Anyway, I'm gonna go home and clean my pool because I told someone that I would. I really don't want to because it's a blazing out today. But uh, apparently the um, <laughs> apparently the uh, the pump for the pool was smoking the other day, so obviously not keeping up with the uh, with the cleaning of the pool. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get on this bus and go home. Oh, yeah. Ooh. that's not gonna work. So, <laughs> give me a T6. Go card, bank card, go card, bank card, go card, bank card. They don't do the same thing, so yeah. Ooh. So, I got home to find this in the mailbox. Oops. This will not focus. There we go. To Simone and Jared. And I am assuming that that is a Christmas card from our landlord, who are really awesome. They um, they do things like, like um, what's this? Oh. Um, like say when we had trouble with our water because of some mains problem, um, you know. 
they covered the cost of the fixing it and um, sorry I can't concentrate it's really hot um, you know and they gave us gift cards and stuff and that was quite a thick card so I imagine that they got us gift cards for Christmas which is amazing like whose landlord does that these guys are really nice and um, yeah it's just cool it's cool that people show appreciation for having good tenants um, even though you've seen the state of my place yeah um, but I mean we're not punching holes in walls or anything like that it's not phase house um, yeah so that's really nice so now what I'm going to do I'm dreading this I'm telling you is clean the pool and there's only one real problem I have with cleaning the pool and that is that when Simone and I had our first place together we had a pool as well and she told me be careful of cleaning out the pool because inside it's so hot out <laughs> in this little bit where the leaves and things gather uh, if I can get it open oh it's actually clean Okay, then maybe I don't have to. I have no idea what that thing is. Leave a comment if you know what on earth that is. What the heck is that thing? I have never seen whatever that is in my life. Leave a comment and tell me if it, it'll kill me. Speaking of things killing me, the, the point I was making was that um, apparently poisonous spiders can um, ride air bubbles I feel like when she sees this video she's gonna tell me that I've got it wrong but something about like if you put your hand in there and there's a spider and it's riding on an air bubble in the water that it can like bite you so I'm really 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 not keen on doing that we've got this actually this is the safety glove it's absolutely destroyed but uh just to provide some protection between us and the, all of the things in Australia that are trying to kill us but anyway well that's one thing I don't have to do so might actually just leave it there I think I'm going to have something to eat have a cold beer and uh, get in that pool because, uh, yeah, like I said, it is blazing out here. So anyway, uh, whew, drop a like on the video. Obviously, I'm not really doing these as much as I used to. A daily grind is just too much. Um, yeah, cannot keep that up. But um, drop a like if you liked it. Leave a comment. Let me know what the heck that thing was. It looked like a half of a frog and half of a cicada. Maybe it's just a cicada. I don't know. Maybe it's a grasshopper. I don't know. So if there's any aspiring David Attenboroughs out there who can tell me what that is, that'd be great. Um, yeah. And as always, take care of each other. God bless. And I will see you next time.